Okay then, welcome back. We uh, today are going to look at a request uh, by Ryder. Um, he pointed me to a video that he, uh, for reference that he wanted to recreate the door movement on uh, this particular door. I don't know if this is called a bifold slidey door. I don't know. I'm going to call it that. I don't know what it, its official name is. But you can see one door moves and then the second door starts to move. Uh, when the first door is like halfway across you find this kind of thing in stores as well uh, So we're gonna do that today So let's get into it All right, then we are in unreal uh, you can use a first person third person whatever Whichever you prefer so we're gonna right click down here and we're gonna create a blue blueprint class of an actor um, BP, I'm going to name it, BP underscore, I'm going to call it bifold, I don't know if that's spelt right, sliding door, that'll do for me, let's have a look in there, right, so starting off we're going to add a static mesh, I'm going to call this door one, and we're going to add another one, and call it door two. Now you can see this has accidentally been, uh, I got a habit of doing this, it's parented to door 1 so we don't want that so we're going to drag door 2 up to the default scene and attach so they're in line, happy days. We're also going to put in a box which we're going to call trigger and I'll put an arrow in because I like arrows, shows you which way things are facing and that's parented to the trigger, I don't want that so we're going to remove that as well. Right, door 1, let's get a door. Let's use the glass. glass. Glass is a window in Unreal, but we're going to use it as a door. I'm sure it won't mind. And do the same for door number two. Go in here. Glass. Ah, oh, you bugger. Do that again. Glass. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> I keep hitting enter. Right. There you go. Now we got two doors or two glasses, whatever you want to call them. So they are placed like that, except one is going to be slightly behind the other because obviously they need to slide past each other. Um, you can make the gap less than that if you like. In fact, I will do it myself. I'll put it on 0.5. Where's my little gizmo? You know, you're going to have a frame on these doors ideally, so it'll be probably around there. But, you know, for this purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to use the glass. Anyway, make the distance as much as you like. Whatever. Tickles your fancy. So that's the door set up. I'm just going to quickly set up this trigger box as well. To be a decent scale. That should just about do it. Yeah, that'll do. Can make it taller as well if we wanted to. That'll do us. Right, I think we're done there. Now we need to get references for our door positions so i mean you can write this stuff down on a piece of paper you don't have to do it this way but this is the way i like to do it i like to create a variable i'm gonna call it door what's this one door i don't know whatever door one um open lock for location and we're going to change that from a boolean to a vector and I'm gonna recompile there and then i'm going to do the same Door two, open lock. Right, um, I'm also gonna need door two, closed lock. And the reason for that is because door one, which is this one, is all zeros, I know that uh, anyway, so I don't really need to remember that. Door two is actually minus five on the X, so I need, it's minus 5 on the X and it's 100 on the Y. So do 2 closed, which is in this position. Let me just recompile. Minus 5 on there and it was 100 on the Y. So that will let me remember that. Right, now the open location. So the door 2, let's do door 2 first. Um, we're going to open, op it's going to open to, I don't know, about, about there. About there, let's do that. 
So obviously it's still minus uh, five on the X, but it's now 180 on the Y. So open two, open door two, dope, uh, door two open location, minus five still and 180. So I can just drag that. Well, I can leave it there for now for reference. Door one, when we open this one, we want it to open to say about there. So it's going to be 170 on the Y. So door one open location is 170 on the Y. So now we can just uh, zero, zero that one. But this one I have to drag manually because zero in it will put it in the wrong position. So that's it. Minus 500. That, there we are. They're back where they should be. Happy days. Let's move over to the event graph. Delete this stuff. And select our trigger. Go down. Begin overlap. Uh, select it again and end overlap so they are sorted and now we go into the timeline and we're going to call it um, open doors we'll do the two doors in the in the same timeline so that's good so we'll double click it open it up and we're going to hit vector we're going to call this door one uh, we're going to change the time to about two two seconds that sounds about good we're only using the y so we don't need to adjust that we're only adjusting the y axis so let's right click and add key to y and we want zero in the time and we want what's this door one zero value because door one uh is zero on the y and then right click again add key to uh, to y and we want to change the time to two seconds in and the value is what was it open door one so it's 170 so we want to put 170 in there and then we're going to click the v again for door two call that door two and again we're only using the y so the y right click add key to y and this one we want to start opening you know about a second later or half a second later let's put uh, 0 0.5 so that's the start and the start was 100 the closed location is 100 so we're going to punk that into there then we're going to right click and add a key to y again so that we can put that on two and the open location is 180 so let's plug that into that done now back to the event graph now in previous tutorials of doors that i've done you may have known that i usually drag these up and click set and then plug them into there and then turns out i realized the other day i don't need to do that so all you need to do is click set relative location and we want the door one let's do door one first and we just plug the yellow into door one. It's easy as that. And now we can select this box, copy and paste it. And we can stick that into that. And then door two into that. And we do need a reference to door two. So go up here, grab it, drag it down, plug it into the target. And that is done. Yes, compile, save, play. And uh, once again, I ain't got no door because I always forget to do that. So let's plug, plug that up. Uh, my arrow is telling me it's facing the wrong way not that it really matters for a slidey door um there it is right okay let me just move it a little bit away so there it is if i move forward it opens just like in the video oops i didn't set up the end overlap go back into here end overlap goes up into the reverse Compile and save. Let's go big screen because this is the final moment. Move forward. Doors open. Move away. Doors close. Move close. Go close. Oh, blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? Open, close. And that's how it works. That's how you set that up. Nice and easy. Didn't take long. Um, so, yeah. Nothing much more to add to that, to be honest. Just obviously add a frame to the door. And there we go. I leave it there. And I'll see you with another one, Shayanara from me. Be creative and see you shortly. Ciao, blau.